Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, we're looking today at how messed up the infrastructure is uh, due to a faulty update. And it is quite interesting to see that so many enterprise, so many companies are all using the same thing. And, you know, it might sound like a good idea, but it's not. And this is where we are in trouble. Um, you know, the world is slowly building itself with these huge cloud services. And there's not 30 different versions or 30 or 40 or 50 services. There's a couple of handful of major services that are handling the majority of all of this. Uh, we look at Microsoft's outage because of Azure, but Azure, you know, does power a lot more than just what's happening with their own services. It also powers a lot of enterprise and a lot of different services. Um, you know, we look at the dominance of Windows. Windows is dominant, and there's a lot of people saying, well, you know, uh, thank God Linux is also used a lot in enterprise because, uh, you know, they don't have that problem. They don't have that problem simply because the update didn't crash Linux. Next time it could, and it could be all Linux servers that are crashed. It's not a Windows thing, and this is what I, I find funny when I see all the comments of, well, you know, Windows. Yeah, it could have been Linux, and it could have been Mac. It's just that it was Windows. But the, f the fact is is we don't need to move to Linux. If we all move to Linux, to everything Linux, then everybody on Linux someday is going to be crashed. Moving to one infrastructure is dumb, whatever it is. And that's the big problem right now, is that every big company is slowly gaining uh, more and more ground. And what we see is that everything online, every service, Every company, bank, whatever, emergency, all rely on one and same service. And when that crashes, everybody's affected. Just look at the amount of um, services affected. Here in Canada, there's a lot of problems going on with this right now. Even some banks, uh, several banks had issues with uh, all sorts of uh, online technologies that they use and no transactions. Um, it affected so many people that you are seeing that the more will be centralized like that, the more companies are all going to use the same and one and unique service for security, the same and one and unique operating system for their computers. And the more we are at risk of a major global problem. And today is a great example of that. So we got to think about it. You cannot rely on just one company providing antivirus service, for example. Here, uh, CloudStrike, uh, the um, CrowdStrike Falcon. I mean, if different companies would use different services there'd be less people affected. Only those that are on that service would be affected. Uh, because, you know, it, it happens. An update, a bad update sometimes happen. I've seen a lot of comments about, you know, well, you know, hiring uh, young guys to make updates. And yeah, but there is a protocol. Like, you know, when Windows updates go through and they are not good, we blame Microsoft. And we do have to blame Microsoft because they should have seen it coming before they pushed it. And it's the same for CrowdStrike Falcon today. Why is it that in their own tests, they did not see that it would crash after the world? It's, that's the problem also. But once again, it's all related to the more you concentrate to only a couple of handful of services, the more we risk having major outages and major problems over the next years. Look at Amazon Web Services. It's powering a huge amount of enterprise and cloud services right now. 
If dad goes out, same thing. Major outage everywhere. And that's got to change. That is absolutely something that's got to change. We cannot continue relying only on one or, or just a couple of services for everything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for ranting. Thank you for ranting. <laughs> I have been ranting. Well, thank you for watching.